Hi, it's Sven from the Independent Producer Academy. If you're a filmmaker like me and you want to post your videos on Amazon Prime, you can do this easily, but that's not what this video is about. Check out our channel showing you how to do that. Today, we're going to focus on closed captioning. Get it? Focus on? No, it doesn't. If you want to put your film on Amazon Prime, then you know you have to have closed captioning. So here you go. You think you're all ready to make money from your film. You're ready to put it on Amazon Prime and then you find out you have to get closed captioning. Closed captioning companies can charge up to $5 a minute, and that can be almost $500 for a feature film. If you can pay this, that's great, but if you can't, you have to do it yourself. Yeah, you can do it manually with Adobe Premiere, but then you're gonna have to get in there and type in every line of dialogue for your entire film. So there's an easy way to avoid this using YouTube. YouTube has an amazing speech to text engine. And so it automatically closed captions your film. I think it's the only free thing you'll ever get from YouTube. You know, it's owned by Google and Google owns everything. So it's probably not a surprise. Don't tell Google that this is, wait, this is on YouTube. Forget it. So let's jump over to YouTube right now. You open up your YouTube channel. Uh, go to YouTube studio and your film if you've imported your film It'll show up in your videos now You can make this private so that other people can't watch it But YouTube will automatically do a speech-to-text translation go to the advanced tab and then down here you go to the Subtitles and it'll say YouTube by or it'll say English by YouTube. You want to edit this on classic then you It'll take a second to load, but you can put your film up here and keep it on private like I have. And then it'll automatically translate the video to closed captioning. And now we're going to edit it. It'll give you an edit tab up here. Then you want to overwrite the existing subtitles. So you hit yes, overwrite. And then you go in there and you can see the subtitles that have already been generated. Um, and what you want to do is you down here, the text will show up here on the left and it'll show you where these titles that have been generated already. Um, and you play it and then you can mark in and mark out where you want these titles to start or end. Uh, you can add new titles. If you hit return, it'll insert a new title. Um, if you drag this cursor back and forth, it'll tell you where you want this to start and end if you don't like where they come up. Um, a lot of these, are the, the grammar won't be correct, so you'll need to redo the punctuation and the titles will be a little bit off. And you just need to move things around and make it work for the way the words come up on your film. It just saves you a lot of time. This is just an easier way of doing it. And then you don't have to type in every title. Here's where you can add your punctuation and where the thing, the words come up that you want to, you want to make sure that, you know, it, it's doing it phonetically. So a lot of the spellings will be off if there's anything that is kind of a, a similar spelling. Uh, go through it, make sure all the text comes up where you want it to. Um, and then you're really saving yourself a lot of time and energy by using YouTube and, and you're getting it for free from YouTube, which is pretty nice. So once you're done with all that, you can go up to the save changes in the upper right hand corner here, and that will save it to your file. And that'll come up here under your video file advanced, and then it'll say, automatic in English. English is the one that you've saved. So go to your advanced button here, go down to English by you and export that. And that'll export to your uh, downloads. And then what you want to do is you want to take that export, which is an SBV file, and you want it to be an SBSRT file. So uh, open up your downloads. Now this is going to be an SBV file and what you need is an SRT file. So there's a bunch of services out there where you can download this and then transcribe it to an SRT file and then upload that to Amazon Prime. 
So that's our tutorial on closed captioning. So it's quick and easy and it does a lot of the work for you. Let us know what you think. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.